Oh, it's just coming up to one o'clock. So we're about 24 hours in now. Still got a little bit of activity. Um, you can see it's still, it's overcast. It's quite warm and muggy though. And a little bit of blue sky, but it's mostly overcast now. So it's still pretty decent fishing conditions. Certainly, it's, it's bright, but we haven't got any sort of direct sunlight really. Mark's just gone off to get some uh, fish and chips from the local takeaway, so I should be uh, eating that shortly. Yeah, we're just sort of going into the second 24 hours now. Um, I've got my two spots. I've had interest on both of them over the first 24 hours, so I'm going to retain or keep those spots and uh, see if we can get some more out across this evening and overnight. And this is how I'm starting uh, day two of my fishing, or the second 24 hours of my fishing. A couple of battered sausage and chips. It's nothing like healthy bankside. It is it's gone three o'clock. Um, just basically been having a look around, seeing if there's any signs of any showing fish. Um, nothing obvious. It's got really hot and muggy now. See, it's sort of it's still a little bit cloudy, but it seems like the when the sun starts coming down it's really baking so I think it's probably into the mid 20s at the moment um, and the fish just don't want to know I can't see any particularly cruising around I can't see anything up on top I'm watching sort of the reeds and whatever for signs of movement and there's not much but for now we're just uh, leaving things how they are uh, hopefully when this sun drops down a bit the temperatures will drop a bit and they'll come on the feed again but for now it's just kind of enjoying the sunshine as much as you can without baking. Um, I did try and lay in the bivvy for a little bit and uh, absolutely roasting in there as well so I'm just trying to keep out the sun as much as possible but see when there's very little tree cover and it's directly overhead there's very little I can do so uh, just trying to enjoy it whilst we can and uh, hopefully we'll start seeing some movement. Right, as you can see the sun's still beating down. The weather app reckons it's about 25 degrees at the moment. Um, the one good thing is that the wind has picked up quite a bit, so we're at least getting some kind of uh, refreshment from that. But um, yeah, still no real activity. I haven't seen any fish. I've been sat here watching the lake for the last hour or so, I haven't seen any fish really showing. It's just a case of uh, waiting for this sun to drop a bit further and hopefully as the shadows start to lengthen the fish will start to come out a little bit more as the temperature drops down. I'd say it's just about half past, it's just gone half past five now so it's pretty much from now on is when you'd expect them to start coming on the feed over the next few hours hopefully and obviously into the night.
Right, I'm just going to have a um, bit of a change of tactics. Um, basically, I've been using the IQD rig on both of my rods, um, but I've just been pulling together a spinner rig, which I'm just going to show you now. And I've just sort of how how impressed I am with how it just wants to turn over every time. Um, I've been using IQD rigs for a while, um, but I've just started using these as well. I've just put this one together, and uh, so I'm gonna gonna cast that one out there, give that a go, and uh, see how that works. Right, that's it. That's the rods baited up for the evening. Got them both out, bang on where I want them. I've put a little bit of bait back out over the tree one, and I've left the uh, other one as it is. Temperature is dropping Not massively, but it's uh, it feels a little bit more comfortable now. And you see, we've got a little bit of cloud cover. As the sun's disappearing slowly behind the trees so it's looking good hopefully the fish think so too here's tonight's offering boil in the bag rice and a stag chili which has got so many different types of beans in it i'm gonna have an interesting evening It smells good. Let's hope it tastes good. A couple more minutes, that'll be ready. And then I'm set to just sit and watch the water as the sun goes down. And hopefully the carp start feeding. Right, I've just had a 2am phone call to say Mark's got one on the line. Looks like a catfish, but let's go and see. Right. It's just gone huh? 20 past 2 in the morning. And Mark has another massive great slug in his net. So we should get this one out and get some pictures and show you in a second. when it's white oh well, yeah. yeah so 32 pounds
eating you. They eat everything else, why not? Thirty-two pounds. Just sticks it in reverse and don't go that way. With a flick of the tail, she's gone. What's this shit? Huh? I have to wait for you to get a run before I can get one. It's exactly what I did last time, wasn't it? You got Sister, a... I can't see nothing. I see you. Can't even see the rod, Dave. Huh? Can't even see the rod. Come back. Come back. Let me see. Nope. Do you want to grab the net? Right, we've got another one in the net. Um, we literally just got back into bed after Mark to run. And my left hand rod which is the one under the tree has gone screaming off and we have a 14 pound 5 ounce common carp not the biggest fish but came in quite quickly because it dropped the lead but then put a bit more of a fight up as we go on the bank in the, in the shallow Get him back. Try and get some more. Right, morning, guys. It's um, about 8:30 on the final morning, so it's Thursday morning. Um, I haven't had any further action overnight, so I had that uh, common carp at about half past two sort of time. Um, managed to get the bod back out on the spot again. Uh, under the tree but I haven't had anything further I don't think Mark's had anything further either we did have a little bit of rain overnight and I've woken up this morning and we've basically got cloud cover all the way round which is probably the the best weather we've actually had the whole time we've been here so um, it's still looking half decent for a bite um, I'm surprised we haven't had anything further overnight if, if the weather's been like this but uh, we shall see we might get something yet um, I'm just going to start packing some bits away so I'm as packed up as I can be and uh, we'll see if we get anything further in the next couple of hours Right then, it's um, just coming up to 10 o'clock, haven't had any further action, and so I've got most of the things packed away now, I've literally just got the chair, the net and the cradle left to go, and obviously the rods. I think that's probably going to be it, I think we're going to pack up in the next five minutes, 
and call it a day. We've, we've both had a uh, fairly decent session. We've had a couple of fish each. I've had a couple of carp. Mark's had a couple of catfish. We've got uh, another session booked on um, Willow Lake at Fenland Fisheries, which should be, well, the lake's absolutely stunning, lovely place. Um, that's not until September, so uh, look forward to that one. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to have a look around at what other lakes there are available and see if we can get booked on for some more overnight sessions. But thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you again soon.